Well, I guess with, with Jack coming um, back home, uh, there was a little bit of a deficiency, we thought, with our, our utility stocks. You know, that 191, 192 type of player that can play both ends of the ground. Uh, Tom's played some really exciting footy in his first two or three games at AFL level. It's probably just lacked opportunity for circumstances, um, you know, not his own fault. He was taken with pick 13 in the 08 draft, so obviously St Kilda thought he could seriously play then. Is that a part of your thinking as well, that he's such a high draft pick? Oh, no doubt. We know that Tom's a talented young man. Um, he's seeking opportunity and it's great to have, uh, you know, a guy who wants to come to our footy club um, from that side of things. So his capacity to play at both ends, we know that he's got a good tank, his endurance is terrific, uh, good decision maker. Uh, and So that just opens up a whole new scope of opportunities for us to and for Brenton to manipulate his side according to how he wants. And, you know, th those guys that can play that variety of, of roles um, become extremely important for, uh, for success. Was it uh, Jack Gunston's decision to come home that made you look at a guy like Lynch or was he already on the radar? Um, no, look, he was on the radar. Um, Hamish Ogilvy has been a, a really big push for for Tom for, for quite a while and uh, we've tracked him um, quite strongly throughout the year and uh, I think the opportunity that you can create now with some of those um, exits from the footy club means that you're able to go a bit more aggressive after um, some of the, the people or the players within the AFN environment that you like so um, it's just seemed to help us open up and, and create and, and force those uh, decisions to maybe fall a bit more our way than they have in the past. A very busy week for the Crows and not over yet. You've still got Tony Armstrong asking to be traded to the Sydney Swans. Where's that at? Yeah, we've progressed um, talks with that. So, uh, so we, we're down the path with Sydney more so than we were a couple of days ago, which is, which is terrific. Um, it'll probably nothing will happen today. Maybe some, uh, some areas will be covered off over the weekend and, and we're hopeful of coming to a resolution, um, certainly maybe early Monday. Um, uh, but obviously we've got the cut-off of, of the two o'clock, so um, certainly by Monday we think we'd be in a good position to have that one um, knocked over.